You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at bbmglobalnetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. wonder why your relationships tend to always go wrong and why it's so difficult to understand them welcome to you'll do anything for him you'll do anything for her with your host dr maureen hosier author maureen hosier explains how individuals can work to become self-aware and find some answers as to how their relationships may be able to work for them so now please welcome the host of you'll do anything for him or her dr maureen hosier Welcome, everyone, to This Is You'll Do Anything For Him, You'll Do Anything For Her, A New Relationship Perspective. Coming to you live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. And I am your host, Dr. Maureen Hosier. Today, I'm having a guest on the show, Joanne. Kaili Kea has joined me or is in the process of joining me. She is one of the voices for E. Haleakala and the Hawaiian spiritual tradition of Ho'oponopono. I have spoken with you all about her before and I have been working with you all and I really appreciate those of you who are here I want to thank you very much for being here I'm working with you all to find a place find the place inside of you where you're not emotionally reacting and then having to recover from those moments then moments sometimes hours when you're in your head and speaking only to your voice and often to a critical voice and this is why I'm having Joanne here with me today is the Hawaiian spiritual tradition of Ho'opono is a process of interrupting your own negative feelings and emotional reactions. And it's coming from a higher place in a sense in that my thoughts about it were about a mantra to interrupt. So Joanne brings to us today the traditional, the spiritual part of this process as well. Joanne, are you there? Doctor. Hello, Joanne? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, very good. I'm glad I'm glad we got that together. Uh, could you hear me? Did you hear uh, your introduction? Yes, yes, I did. Okay, are you ready to then go forward? Yes. Yes, I have right. a, a comment. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, the clue for me um, is in the word you used, react. R-E-A-C-T. It means already that you. it is not fresh. It is old. It's a reaction, something that comes from the past, and that is the core of the whole Ho'oponopono process. Um, it's an ancient process, meaning to correct a perception, to make any correction. And um, 
in your introduction, uh, the, that was so amazing to use that word because most of the time, if not all the time, we are simply reacting, which means that something is coming up from the past. And the, the way in this ancient Hawaiian practice, the difference is you want to respond to something that has come up. And if you wouldn't mind, um, Dr. Hozier, is to go through once again, just so that we're clear about what it means uh, your your part uh, as a therapist and uh, as a teacher, um, what you bring f- uh, bring as tools for your clients, and then I will um, fill in the perspective of the Hawaiian approach, the viewpoint. Uh, unless you wish for me to just continue talking about it. No, I th- I think that's a good idea. My understanding has been so much about my own process and then being involved in the process of many, many, many other people, my clients that mm-hmm. come in. I've been in business a very long time here and working with people who are so disturbed by their relationship not working and I have had to find a way the tools immediately within the office setting where I can help them begin to understand because it still is a process and it's still going to take some time that they must interrupt and stop their emotional reacting and yes and it at the time it doesn't really i don't think i'm going to say this matters so much that they know it's from the past because i do work with them on that once they begin to take responsibility for their own behavior for their own reactions and also understanding that the reactions ruin moments and they can ruin Mm -hmm. moments for hours for days for weeks for people and and Mm -hmm. it will those reactions will eventually destroy the relationship so the tools have been a mantra that is either that both people commit to in order to begin the process of stopping those reactions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. So, in now, so let me oh, let give me you a st- little bit of a hello. I'm sorry. Oh, just Did one more thing. You? Uh, No, you didn't. I just thought of something else. I do uh, work with individuals as well. So there Mm -hmm. is a two-part process going on here Mm -hmm. in my Mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. I understand. So um, the background for what Ho'oponopono is is correcting a perception. And the idea, the... uh, What is in the background of this understanding, at least from the Hawaiian view, or at least my experience of Ho'oponopono, which I was raised in a traditional sense with this method or this spiritual practice. And uh, I'm 73, and at 60, I met um, E. Haleakala Hiulan, Dr. E. Haleakala Hiulan at 60, and I was taught by him the the more modern uh, the something that had evolved from the traditional but was a profound teaching which is what I'm sharing now um, and that would be that whether you're in a traditional sense with Ho'oponopono or a modern sense 
what the, what is shared is the notion that there is in, there is divinity in the background. So whether you're I'm sorry, uh, Joanne, we must uh, take a commercial break. This is You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her, A New Relationship Perspective, live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. Come back and join us with Joanne. The earliest human societies worshipped a female goddess. Little is known about this time because we did not always have a written recorded history. It was around 3100 BC when the Sumerians invented the first written language and everything that preceded this time is prehistory. The prehistorical record includes all of women's unwritten history from 30,000 BC to the time that men began achieving political power around 3000 BC. Male feminist artist Kimberly Berg maintains a strong position in educating and inspiring both men and women through his devotional art to the goddess in all women. Studying their history is paramount to understanding who women were and who they would become later living in a patriarchal society. To learn more about this important time in our history, go to www.isisrising.net. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com and for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Welcome back. This is You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her, a new, really, a new relationship perspective coming to you live from the BBM Global Network, Tune In Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. Welcome back. I'm your host, Dr. Maureen Hosher, and my guest is Joanne Kailikea. And we have been speaking about the traditional the spiritual practice of Ho'oponopono. And Joe. Yes. Please, please, please start. I'll, I'll continue. Um, just to recap a little bit, uh, we started out with the distinction between reacting, which is replaying uh, something from the past, or responding, which is being responsible to respond to something. And there's a world of difference between those two words, reacting or responding. In the Hawaiian sense, the response is as an embrace. Key is to embrace whatever you're aware of or experiencing. That would be a a tool to use. And you like, what do you embrace with? Well, you embrace with love, love and gratitude. And the, this process is often referred to as an atonement process. In other words, what Dr. Hosier is talking about in when she uses the term mantra, for my view, this is not about a mantra repressing what you're aware of or your reaction. It is responding to your reaction and that response is called being responsible. And you you respond with saying within your own mind, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. And those you are talking to the higher self within you. 
Because what you're really going for in this Hawaiian perspective is a shift away from what in psychological terms is called the ego, the small self, to the to zero. The zero, the void, if you're thinking in terms of um, Buddhist practices, uh, and it is what many, many, there are many practices that can take you to zero, but it is a way to skip from the reactivity, which is an ego, a memory, an old thought, an old toxic thought that's replaying in the moment, is to pause that and respond by saying within yourself, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, or I love you. You can take any one of those phrases, which I recommend, and use it. And I'll give you a quick example. Even here, before I enter the call, before my lips begin to move in any circumstance in life, whether it's a phone call or talking with someone, I say inside of my head, thank you. And that shifts me from old material to something fresh in the present, in the moment. That, in a nutshell, is what Ho'oponopono is about. Do you have any comment, Dr. Hoosier? Wow. Um, There was a part there that I didn't get, and I'm not exactly sure. It was after I understand uh, responding to be responsible, um, mm-hmm. And it was after that, it, was, it began when you uh, were talking about the ego, the small self reacting and getting back to zero. And I believe yes. I understand zero would be me in the present. Yes. Just, That's I mean, right. responding and responding with caring, respect, um, acceptance. Oh. Well, that, I, if I, yes, that, that may be what you might, you know, have as ways to understand this, but let's call it nothing. Because when you have the silence, this this process, anyway, I'm not saying it works for everyone or is the truth. It is just an experience I have of meditation and of this process. And it is about silence, about a space, and what you call an interruption. So it's not, it's, imagine a circle not filled with anything, nothing. And in that nothing is everything. It's, it is a fresh moment. It's what every ancient meditative practice goes for. Whether you're doing yoga or bike riding, or extreme sports, anything like that, embracing in this tradition with love, saying I love you to some thought in your own mind. Uh, I, it may help to understand that in this view, it is all about yourself, not any, not anything outside of your own self. So there's no blaming or looking at anyone else or any circumstance outside. It is completely within you and that your response, and this can't be understood intellectually, by the way. You have to do some part of it, whether it's saying, I love you, whether it's saying thank you, or I'm sorry, please forgive me, within you towards whatever you become aware of. If you don't do it, it will make no sense. If you spend one day doing this, you'll understand because the experience will teach you how to do it. And will, will the, the experience itself, your experience, will prove it to you because there's no amount of words that can help you understand it intellectually. Um, So, you know, if you, if you have any comment to that, uh, I'd love to hear it. 
I think that I'm beginning to get the feeling of it, of what you're mm -hmm. saying. Mm -hmm. You know, it, what's hard for many people is the notion of nothing, zero, quiet, silence. We're, we live in a world that is full of noise. And the way you can, that, that's one way to live in life, and that's fine. It's just that the fallout from that is a lot of stress, tension, and unhappiness. If whatever method one uses, whether it's the whole protocol process or yoga or extreme sports, like I mentioned, whatever that is, most people who have had that experience know it's a valuable one. It seems like a cosmic experience rather than a repeating of old memory and patterns and, uh, that bring most of us stress. It's like traffic, you know, driving in traffic versus being a full flowing river with nothing in your way. That That's the experience I can say um, that I experience when I'm at zero, when I'm at, when I'm being nothing. There's some amazing value in that. And the way Joe, to achieve nothing. Joe, yes? I need to interrupt. Yes? I'm sorry. We need to take Please. a commercial break. You, this is You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her, a new relationship perspective coming to you live from the BBM Global Network, Tune In Radio, iHeart Radio, and Apple iTunes. See you soon. Essential Nutrients, LLC, is the brainchild of entrepreneur Barbara Burns. Inspired by a desire to help others, Barbara worked with a team of scientists to develop unique nutritional liquid supplements with the goal to improve the quality of your life. Glucosamine, zinc, and calcium are essential to well-being, and this is the focus of Essential Nutrients, LLC. Whether you're a professional athlete, weekend warrior, student, business owner, or homemaker, Essential Nutrients offers products for everyone, including the family pet. And they're easy to take, no pills. Health requires commitment, exercise, a good diet, proper supplementation, and action. So take action today and get your supply of essential liquid nutrients by visiting www.essential-liquids.com. Don't put off your health any longer. Take essential products today and start to measure the difference. Unleash the obstacles that bind you with certified professional coach Joanne Charette, a master practitioner in energy leadership. Joanne can help you break through personal and professional barriers and guide you to a higher level of empowerment and fulfillment. Passionate and dedicated, Joanne engages with her clients on a mutual journey. Her dynamic energy will motivate you to move forward as you partner on a venture to greater results. Isn't it time to make a breakthrough and commit to live the life you deserve? Invest in yourself and let Joanne Charette be the captain catalyst the realization of your dreams by making them a reality. Based in Quebec, Canada, Joanne is also a space coach, using social media and Skype to work with anyone anywhere around the world. Contact Joanne Charette today at 819-360-3266 or email her at actionrealization at live.ca, 819-360-3266. Now is your time. Welcome back to This Is You'll Do Anything For Him, You'll Do Anything For Her, a new relationship perspective, live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeart Radio. I'm your host, Dr. Maureen Hosher. I'm here with Joanne Kaidlikea, and we are learning so much about the Hawaiian a spiritual practice of Ho'oponopono. And I am blown away, Joe. I am really blown away. Um, I'm, I'm be I really am beginning to understand that place that that is so important to being. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Yes, it, you know, I have lived in this method uh, since I left, since 
I was, I would say, 12 years old. And as I said, I'm 73. I have known many, many um, spiritual gurus, practices, masters, what have you. And what is really important for me at this time in life, and when I became aware of it, is the connection with my with the self, the the self that's connected to all, the self that is binding all of us together. That's what I'm interested in. Some people call it God, some people divinity, Allah. It doesn't matter. It is the what matters in my opinion and in my experience is how we connect to that because it's the higher self that's that's not just within us but in all what we call space outside of us so to be able to even taste this experience with a simple tool by saying when you meet someone new you don't have to say it out loud you just say inside of you I love you or thank you and when there's an experience of something that I see on television whether it's political or cruel or anything I I bring it into me and I say because I know that it's all about me and what I can do within me I can respond to what I'm watching and I'm aware of And I take it in and I say to it, to whatever cruelty there is or sadness or fear, I say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Because I know that that's the starting point. And since we are all connected, what that means to me is that everything that I process reverberates throughout the cosmos and it is true for every single person everyone um, and so that this is so profound that I would really not like anyone to miss it because it's all so simple you don't have to believe me you have to just say for one day become the tool become thank you as you watch television and you attend to things that you don't like or like, say thank you, I love you, or I'm sorry, please forgive me. For my part in some lifetime, maybe not this time, but some past lifetime that I may have participated in what I'm judging. And if you can do that for one day only, you'll never wonder what this is about because it will be your own inarguable experience and that's my wish um, because I my as my aunt Meldred who really was a Ho'oponopono teacher taught me one simple thing that has been true that we can make heaven on earth regardless of our circumstance and we happen to be able to make hell on earth as well but it's a choice and in my opinion, that's what free will is. You can choose to be make heaven, or you can choose to make hell. And um, I'm open to any other question you might have. Well, um, go ahead. <laughs> yes, if I'm not, uh, I have something else. What's the role of therapists anyway? Well, guess what? Most of what therapy is doing is bringing the unconscious up to conscious level. And everybody is participating with the divinity at that point. Most of us live life totally unconscious. We are doing things that that, what is in the subconscious, in the memory bank of the subconscious, is running us. It's nobody's fault that what they're doing doesn't work. It's just that it's un- subconscious, unconscious. And if you're going to be with a therapist, the good news is that therapist can bring to light out of the darkness of the subconscious or the unconscious, out of darkness into the light. 
And who the healer is at that point is what I'm talking about. It's the divinity that absorbs all the space in life, within and without of us. That when that, when we listen to each other, when we ask questions, this is, um, um, it brings all the material we need to have at that moment into light. And that's where the healing takes place. Thank you. Yes, and this is, you'll do anything for him, you'll do anything for her, a new relationship perspective, live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. See you soon. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia daly Lipe is a renaissance woman in her own right, a lover of animals from a young age. Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan, and I'm president and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals, and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support, to be your teammate, to help you understand what is your dream, what is your life passion, and then together we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals. Life is worth living the best you can be. Working with a life coach, you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion, and it's your way of living. Let me help you do that today. Let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living. I'm Steve Fagan. I'm a life coach, and I'm here for you. Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAndAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. Welcome back. This is You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her. A new relationship perspective coming to you live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Dr. Maureen Hosher. I'd like to give you our phone number. Again, it's 866-451-1451 if you have any questions. I'm with my guest, Joanne Kailikea, and oh, this has been so moving, Joe. I really, really appreciate this time, and I know uh, the audience does as well. I really know that. So, I am so moved. I'm sitting here crying. <laughs> mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hoosier. You know, it's, I am yeah. so grateful for the chance to share the most important experience I've had in my entire 70, 70 years. I'm 73. Well, at 12, this process really began for me with my Aunt Mildred in Hawaii. I was born and raised there. And I just would like to read... I'm sorry? Go ahead. Okay. No. Huh? I, just, I just would like to recap how we started today. It's the distinction that I'm so interested in is the distinction between reaction and responding, and being respond, being able to respond. It is. Um, it's a matter of hell. In a, reactions are hell. It's because we think we know. We, we carry around, especially in this country, in the U.S., I would say, well, probably everywhere, we really think we know stuff. And it's true, we do. 
but it's inhibiting. It blocks. Reactions block us from really being beyond our wildest dreams to having insights and experiences of love and care beyond what we do right now. Whatever level we're on, we can always get better and life can get better and better. But we have to learn. We have to do something different. And memories are just replaying so that our lives feel boring, they feel hard, they feel like struggle and so much pain. There's so much pain everywhere you look. And this process is about, it's so, it takes you from being helpless and afraid and feeling that there's no solution to something where you, there is, and you are the solution. Every single human being is unique and has unique ways of clearing their soul of living love as love. It's called in Hawaii, aloha. Aloha, really the deeper meaning is being in the presence of God, of the divine, and that's us. And we're missing the show. We are missing because we don't know who we really are. We think we're our memories. We think we're the horrible things that we see on TV or that we're better than that. But you know what? Everything will transform you because you, you, those of you listening really are unique human beings with unique gifts and unique ways of paying attention. I am just inviting you to whatever you attend to, whatever it caught, catches your attention, just say within your soul, I love you, or say I thank you, or I'm sorry, please forgive me, because somewhere, sometime in your past life, you two were walking in those shoes that your judging is wrong. My favorite thing uh, is to, pre- to imagine that I don't know so I can discover and be connected to the divinity within me. So I have come to a point, and it took me a long lifetime to know that I need to I don't need to use other things. I don't have to do anything, but just know that I can walk this life by being gratitude, by being thankful and thanking, or I can be love, or I can be, please forgive me for something I'm seeing, because I did that before. There's nothing in life that I have experienced that I have not done myself, so I am asking for forgiveness. That's what this process is all about, is forgiving yourself and forgiving others. Everything is can be forgiven. I don't care what you become aware of. Everything is is able to be forgiven. That's that's the medium we live in. Like birds to air or fish to water, we have forgotten. Oh. And I'm here to remind you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. We've forgotten our identity. That's what Hoko means. Hoko Nukwana means. We have an erroneous perception of who we are and where we are in this lifetime. And it's our loss. Nobody else's. We, I don't care where you are, you can do this and who you are, whether you, we all have 24 hours a day. And you can do this 24-7 because we need to, because we walk around thinking we know everything. That we're, you know, what we do is it's true, but we're connecting to the cheap 25 cent computer, not the $25 trillion computer that's within us. That's connected to the whole cosmos. So I, I invite you to become a tool of love and gratitude in this life before you leave it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. How did we lose it? How did we lose 
ourselves, and we will get back to that after the commercial break. This is, we need to take a break. This is, yes, you'll do anything for him. You'll do anything for her. A new relationship perspective coming to you live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, and Apple iTunes. Please join us back with Joanne. Abuse happens every moment of every day. According to national statistics in the United States, every two minutes, someone is sexually assaulted, and every 10 minutes, a report of child abuse is made. Those currently struggling with abuse, or if you know someone who has been the victim of abuse, you are not alone. Whether physical, mental, emotional, or sexual, no, there is hope, there is help, there is healing. Author Tammy Hall has written a book from her own account of abuse called Journey of Courage that can guide you through your own personal journey of healing. Stop struggling through life. It's your story. It's your healing. And it can begin with the first turn of the page. Visit www.journeyofcourage.com to begin your path to becoming the person you were ultimately created to be. Healed. Hopeful. Happy. Horses, mystical, present, past, and future, all in one. Wild, free, domestic, and healing for everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature-connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. Welcome back. This is You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her, a new relationship perspective. Live from the BBM Glo- Global Network, Tune In Radio, Apple iTunes, and iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Dr. Maureen Hosier. I'm here with our guest, my guest, Joanne Kat- Ilikea, who is bringing to us oh, this wonderful idea, notion, this feeling, belief that we can. I can be better. I can be with with truth. And I don't have to react. I don't have to be... You know, I've known this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm on my way. <laughs> As you say, it's a process. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's a process. We are all but, in process, but we can make good use of the time we have left. If we had a day right. left, it doesn't matter. We, as soon as you become awake, that's it. And, you know, we have been all, you need contrast. It's, you know, it's like the lotus that grows in the mud. You need to do that beautiful flower. We are living most of the time in mud, but it only takes that moment of really awareness where you get it. All of a sudden, you go from mud to this beautiful lotus flower. And it can be, even if you have one second left before it, you leave this consciousness before you move on. You can do it. But you you also ask the question, how in the heck did we lose us? How do we lose ourselves? That That's kind of the easy question. It's because we, you know, from the beginning we get taught by, you know, people who can't help it. Our parents, 
It's not anybody's fault because guess what? There's nobody. I don't care who you name who who is not repeating old stuff. And, and it, un, unless you can, all of us can embrace what we notice or pay attention to what is a cloud. It, that's how you can think of it is that these are clouds of thought forms that that we are born into. We didn't invent this. Over over human, you know, dogs and tigers and elephants. They there's no confusion in these animals of who they are. They they can't all of a sudden become a squirrel can't become an elephant. But human beings, while we have we can fly in the air in airplanes, and we have so many options that it comes, it's a double-edged sword. Our, mm-hmm. The gifts that we have have also led us into a way of life that where we are very arrogant, we think we know, and we've just lost our way. We don't know our identity. This is about self-identity, that you are divine, you always were, you were never really separated. This is where, this is why we got lost. We made an error in perception that we were separate from the divine, and we are not. And you have had, the listeners have had... I know that they struggle, they're in pain, they repeat and repeat and repeat the same relationships over and over and over. They're toxic, they're whatever they call it. They're just, we make up whatever we make up. However, we have just forgotten we're an instrument of love. For Hawaiians, the divine is is said in this Hawaiian phrase, which I said since I was 12 years old, Aloha Kekua. Aloha Kekua means God is love. And as I've grown and studied with many, many traditions, basically, whether you're talking about Judaism, whether you're talking about the Muslim, the Christian, the Baha'i, the Buddhist, if you trace the roots of those religions, those formal religions, down to the roots, it's all about love with no exception and we have forgotten that we come from that we have forgotten from really um, that we are an instrument of that love pure and simple and you you know nothing's wasted if you're hearing this for the first time spend a day being love spend a day being grateful saying to everything you hate happening, you know, I'm sorry, please forgive me for my part, for my contribution to that pain. And see what happens and see the quality of your own life. This is not intellectual. You have to do something. And that doesn't mean you have to be rich. You don't have to have a great job. You can be unemployed. You can still do it. And what will happen, because that love that created us all will find a way to give you your heart's desires. It's inevitable, but you need to connect to that which can, the source of all all wealth, all health, all relationships, the source. You have to connect. You connect very simply. It doesn't cost you anything. You can, you know, you can do it by what I just shared with you in this program. Mm -hmm. And then let us know what happened. Let let us know how it was for you. And if you've reached some stumbling block, reach out to Dr. Hoser. Reach out to somebody who can help you. Get back on track. But it's always a forgetfulness that we really are love and we are an instrument of that. Okay. Uh huh. I I think it's hard to know what we 
you say have forgotten, I feel like mm -hmm. it's more than that. Mm -hmm. And that's hard to think about. I can see that getting that back, but you're saying experience, be it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Yes. And you can reach us also. You can reach me at www.0y0zero with a dash wise dot com. And you can write. We answer every letter. You can ask your questions. Ooh. And um, just know that uh, you can't do this without doing something, something so simple as saying, I love you, thank you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, within your own being, to clear Joe, the space so that there's less feeling of separation. And I, ne I need to, I'm sorry, interrupt. Um, this is You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her, A New Relationship Perspective, coming to you live from the BBM Global Network, iTunes, Apple iTunes, iHeartRadio, and TuneIn Radio. We'll see you soon. My Dreams, My Challenges, and Joys is an inspiring book by author Linda Genazzo. This real-life account of raising a child with autism from birth to adulthood takes you on a journey of compassion, love, and hope as it tells the incredible story of a devoted family and their beloved daughter. Together, they faced adversity and never stopped believing they would find the help they were seeking. A breast cancer survivor, Linda Genazzo has a giving heart. With a background in social work with the mentally ill and the homeless, Linda continues to help families in her community. And her book, My Dreams, My Challenges and Joys, brings greater awareness to autism and those families in need. To purchase your copy, visit www.lindagenazzo.com. It's also available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. Don't delay. Get your copy today. Jenny Friend is a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified clinical sexologist, commonly known as a sex therapist, with over 30 years of experience in the field of sexuality. She's been a researcher and teacher and is further trained in human development over the lifespan. She's also a published author and a radio personality. Her specialized training in lifespan developments means she can help individuals, couples, and families through difficult developmental phases. Her primary ways of working are through the tools of cognitive, behavioral, and psychoenergetics theories and techniques. Couples, individual men and women, and families are also welcome. She can meet in her office in Costa Mesa, California, or on the Internet through Skype at Jenny Friend MFT. Call 714-210-9200. You can also send an email from her website at www.centerforclarity.org. That phone number again is 714-210-9200. Welcome back. This is You'll Do Anything for Him, You'll Do Anything for Her, a new relationship perspective coming to you live from the BBM Global Network, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, and Apple iTunes. This is Dr. Maureen Hosier, and I am here trying to organize myself with I love you, thank you, I am sorry, please forgive me. Because this has been so moving. I was prior to the show today. Once again, overcome by the news of the day. And Joanne, thank you. I think I can see my way through with what's happening politically with your wisdom. I 
really appreciate your being here and bringing this to the people that are listening. I wish the world were listening. So, are you there, Joe? Have you gone? I'm here. Yes, thank you. And I, I really understand how, how you're feeling. It's so easy to feel lost, pain, at all what we are, because of the availability of the information we get on television and that connects us to the whole world, it's, it's impossible not to lose hope. And because we're still alive, we have one more day. I get up every morning with the standard wake up. I'm grateful I have one more day. I've gotten up. I'm above ground today. Then my next prayer really is, I'm sorry, please forgive me for anything in me that is not love. And I end the day with that same statement, same prayer. I'm sorry, please forgive me for anything in me that is not love. Because I'm alive and because each one of fellow brothers and sisters are alive, we always have hope. We always know that we can do something. I'm not helpless. Oh, this is, you'll do anything for him, you'll do anything for her, a new relationship perspective, live from the BBM Global Network, Tune In Radio, Apple iTunes, and iArt Radio. We'll see you next week. Thank you for all being here. This has been You'll Do Anything For Him, You'll Do Anything For Her, with your host, Dr. Maureen Hosier. Listen each week as Maureen explores a path to understanding your relationships in an effort to make them work best for you. Here on You'll Do Anything For Him or Her with your host, Dr. Maureen Hosier. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.